Vicky Estrada, uh, landscape uh, architect for the uh, Azalea Park Conservation Garden. What, what was the inspiration for, for the design of this park? For some reason, I just had the urge to show all these doodles. And then this one doodle came on the screen. People said, wait, what about that form? You know, why wouldn't that, these fingers, it was this kind of semi-circular element with these fingers kind of curving around, kind of a very kinetic form. And they said, and I, wouldn't that work as a plan for the garden? And I had never thought about that. Um, and then when I superimposed it on the site later, it worked. It was almost mm -hmm. exact same geometry and the way our entry was set up and, and kind of the existing site conditions. Serve not only water, but uh, raw materials and energy. And I think he fits very well into that theme that we can take objects that we would normally throw away and turn them into objects of beauty. Uh, the entryway piece of art was done by glass artist Vicky Leon, who also lives in the nearby neighborhood and has completed uh, many public art uh, projects. Vicky, what's the concept you were working on with, with these the, with the three totems? Well, I was mostly working with the idea of doing something that was an example of what people could do in their own water conservation garden. So I use all materials and tools that are extremely common and available. Um, I was also looking at making solar, the usage of solar, um, more understandable and accessible for people. Jim, can you tell us what the opening of this garden means to you and your neighborhood? Well, I think the, the this is an innovation because it was uh, sort of the community uses city space to create uh, a masterpiece. And so I think it's uh, a source of pride for the community. And what was the what was the original inspiration for your piece here? Uh, this piece is inspired by uh, its four car hoods. Uh, the original uh, assignment for the park was recycled materials, so I chose car hoods because car hoods uh, are sort of a symbol of uh, working class life. Uh, the many, many people across the world who have spent countless hours uh, underneath the car hood contemplating, you know, uh, questions of the universe and this is sort of a totem to them. This park is the only one of its kind in San Diego and will now be managed by the community group and illustrates the great potential for art to add a new level of experience in public parks.